So what does a good coupling sound like? Well, we shouldn't really hear anything but white noise coming from a good, healthy coupling. I'm going to play you a sound file here. So very, very quiet, white noise. If we look at the wave file here, nice and uh, stable, not really a lot of evidence of any major impacting. And in my spectrum on my FFT, not seeing anything repetitive going on at all. So now let's look at a, um, a coupling, a slow speed coupling, which has some misalignment. So how does this sound? So very, very easy to tell the difference between the two. We hear that modulated sound, that whoosh, 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 as it is turning. And I can see over here in my, my FFT or my spectrum, I have a repetitive impact or noise that's being generated uh, every time it, uh, there's a revolution. So again, very different to when we were looking at the, the good healthy coupling. So let's look at a coupling that needs lubrication. So for example, a grid coupling, which requires lubrication. As um, friction increases through lack of lubrication, we're gonna start to hear something different. But very quickly, even with a five second scan, very quick and easy to tell that there is something going on with this. Uh, again, in my FFT or my spectrum, I can see repetitive impacting at running speed in this case, um, giving me an indication that something is amiss with this particular coupling. Let's look at one that which is more severe. And actually, if I go back and I look at the amplitude uh, of the, or the amount of energy that's being generated from this coupling, plus or minus four or 500 dB microvolt compared to this one, which is way more severe, I'm up around plus or minus 15, 16,000 dB microvolt, uh, down to 20,000 in, in certain cases. So let's listen to this one. So a lot more energy being produced. Uh, again, some impacting, I'm hearing that noise, shouldn't be hearing anything. Looking in my dynamic data in the spectrum, I'm also seeing harmonics of rotational speed impacting all the way through my, my FFT. So very easy to identify when something is wrong. We should hear nothing when we're hearing something. It's now a cause for us to investigate. So if you imagine that you, know, you have PMs which are um, set up for you to, on a shutdown, take off guards, pull apart couplings to do an inspection only to find that they're perfectly okay, why not use a tool like ultrasound to help you determine where you need to put your attention, which couplings actually need to be opened up and inspected, um, reduce the amount of time we're doing unnecessary work. And obviously every time we take something apart, there's the opportunity to introduce a problem. So we can really use ultrasound here to our advantage. So what did it look like when it was pulled apart? oxidized, actually broken here, cracked, uh, doesn't look in very good shape. Uh, it was time for a change.